Hey, Dean, has anybody ever told you that you look like a young Sting? Uh, yes, I, I've heard that. I'll take that. All I see I'll is take it. Roxanne. I'll take it. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Okay, you guys, when it comes to voiceover agenting, our guest is one of the best. He is the force behind Dean Panero talent. He has amazing wisdom to share. We're going to get it all out of him, so take notes. We're getting buzzed with the awesome Dean Panero. Yes! Welcome! Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. So good me. to have you here. Excited to be here. We have been wanting to have you on the show now for about five billion years. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, Dean is very, very hard to get. Yes. Or plays hard to get, one of the two. No. You decide. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate it. We know that you're really, really... Re Agent's life is... The work is never done, right? Yeah. That is true. Yeah. That is true. So thank you. But honored to be here. Thank you so much. I really oh, am. It's, we're so excited. And the cool thing is, is that um, there's people watching all over the world. So it's a great opportunity for them to hear the truth. Yeah. The honest truth. Crit, I'm good at you know, that. Uh, constructive criticism sure. and ideas, and that's what we like to try to put out there. So um, you have lots to yeah. share. People are constantly asking me a lot of agent questions, and but they don't live in LA. And yeah. I'm like, wow, you know, so I could either call Dean up and say, hey, Dean, I have these questions for you, or we yeah. could have you on a show and ask you okay. some of these questions that people have from all around the world in regards to representation, agent uh, talent relation, and... Uh, and, and particularly with, with a big LA agent such as yourself. So I'm going to get right into it. Yeah. In order of easiest to book, what do you think are the genres that somebody should be getting into when it comes to voiceover from easiest to book, you know, like Great the, the first three genres that are easiest to book? I've got to say, believe it or not, uh, for a new talented voice actor, yeah. mm -hmm. commercial and interactive, without question. Mm -hmm. They're looking for new, fresh, and different in the commercial space and the interactive space. Now, Animation, interactive meaning video game, yeah. right? Video game space, yes. Okay. Video games and, believe it or not, commercials. Like the type of commercials yeah. seasoned voice actors really want to book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. New, fresh voice actors book the hell out of those. Wow. Um, because they don't understand the parameters yet. Yeah. They're not confined by the 30 seconds like a, a known actor is. You know? Exactly, yeah. We know how short of time we have when we look at that script. But a new actor looks at it and doesn't feel confined by the commercial read. Yeah. And that's why new, fresh actors book commercials well because they have no concept. And that's what agency people want to hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, not that rhythm, mm -hmm. that commercial rhythm that we can't help falling into if we've been doing it a long time. Exactly. Um, so without question, if you're a talented new actor, interactive and commercial, and I mean union commercial stuff, believe it or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is if you're, hopefully your agent is smart enough to see that new fresh talent are what book commercials, because I see it. Yeah. Um, and I think long time actors see it too. They see these new actors come in booking those commercials they right. want to book. Right. Um, and you know, I, it has proven. Do you do you well, think that also? Hold, do you think yeah. that the reason why that happens might also be a little bit because they haven't experienced the, <laughs> you know, I haven't booked, I haven't booked, I haven't booked. Sure. I hope I booked this one, they're and they're just coming in. Ignorance is bliss. Excited. Ignorance yeah. is bliss. Yeah. But also, you have to remember there are just very few agents in Los Angeles. So if you're sending out for a forty-five-year-old male, chances are. You've heard this actor before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chances are you've heard this actor several times before. Right. So that's where new blood comes in. And at my agency, and I was taught, you know, by very good agents at a young age to always have new, fresh choices. Mm -hmm. Always good. have new, fresh choices. Yeah. Um, but keep the agencies coming back. Right. Yeah. For the people that maybe have fallen into that commercial pattern, yeah. what wisdom could you offer them? Is it well, is it a coaching? Without question. I mean, um, I think pacing is such a huge part of voiceover and, and likability is such mm -hmm. a huge part of voiceover. Um, but pacing, they get caught up in pacing and they can't get themselves out of it. Um, but coaches really have proven that they can help these older actors and not only um, help them with their read, help them learn how to read at home 
and be better reading without a, without a live body. Direction. Right. As you've right. seen, this generation has figured it out completely. Yeah. Yeah. The generation before my my I guess generation, they couldn't figure out how to read from home or didn't do a very good job of figuring out how to read from home. Mm-hmm. But this next generation that's coming up now, no problem. They don't need somebody there. They're booking like people are there just because they never knew it before. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't know it was a live person. Yeah. They've learned their craft alone. And um, some of them get in front of live humans and get a little nervous. Yeah. Um, well, we all do yeah, that, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. it's very but, easy. But the pros can channel it and, totally. and be better. And be better. Know? Right. And the n- new guys, you know, show the nerves. But yeah. that's okay. I yeah. mean, it happens. The confidence and experience. Absolutely, It comes with man. the experience, yeah. yeah. Um, do you monitor, monitor your talent or ask them if they have like a really outdated demo or Great maybe, maybe they, they haven't been coaching as much and you're hearing their auditions and you're like, man, they would be so much better if they, do you do that with your talent? No, I'm doing it. Um, I'm making sure that my clients do have updated demo material. Um, we're very big into video demos now instead of just audio demos. We think it's so much more powerful watching the screen. Oh, good, good. I'm glad um, you're talking yeah, about Yeah, I'm asking my people to do video demos and try Beautiful. to leave audio and just audio only in the background. Right. Um, now, we'll still do some of that, but if you look at Roger Craig Smith's demo, it's so impactful. Yeah. It is so impactful when you watch it. Yeah. And now we're doing even commercial demos like that. Yeah. It's not, commercial demos aren't even my favorite thing for voice actors because um, you know, everybody puts a car commercial and a beer commercial and a fast food, and those are the biggest conflict areas. So, right. um, and you're one of the most prolific demo producers. So, you know, I would say to you, make sure you don't cover too many big conflict areas when you're producing a demo. Um, I make sure that I don't, I rather have Clackamas town center than Ford. Right. Um, because at the last stage, they still will listen to your demo. If it's, you know, Ford's looking for the new voice of a Mustang spot or ads, they might go to your demos right. and they'll hear, dude, he has a Chevy commercial on there. Right. No, 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 that's that's seven years old. It's not even a real spot. No, no, no. We want a guy that's never done Chevy before. We're Ford. Right. Mm-hmm. That's where we are. That's mm-hmm. the world we're living in right now. So um, I don't want to put conflicts that that the guy or girl can book. Exactly. Right. That the actor right. can book. Okay, that's um, good, man. Yeah. So yeah, smaller conflict areas for sure. And you know, it used to be. I don't want to sit here and talk about what it used to be, but it used to be show them you could do a big campaign, put your big thing right. here and your big thing there and your big right. thing there. Not anymore. Right. Mm. You know, they don't want to hear somebody that's been there, done that. Oh, that's an old voice. They've done that. Um, so exactly. it's tricky. It's tricky. It is tricky. Um, yeah. I have never spent so much time selling, trying to get into these offices around yeah. town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, listen, it's a little, it's a little scary of course, right now. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I mean, you got to work, work now. You well, know? We're out of style in promos. Yeah. We're out of style in commercials. We are out of style in new media. You know, I mean, they want any voice that you hear is purposely made to sound not, not real yeah. voiceover. Yeah. I mean, it'll have an accent or it'll have something to make sure you know it's not a voiceover guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and 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 because that's what they're looking for. They're yeah. like they don't want this like professional sounding yeah. thing. No, and I'm you so know. instead of perfect, they want perfectly imperfect, right? Yes. Well, and even the pronunciation of certain words, I'm Absolutely. like, what did yeah. they just they say? Just let it go. Yeah. Hey, they just let yeah. it go. Dean, I have a question yeah. for you. Um, so uh, just, just going back to the demo thing real quick here. So if somebody is and and listen, I, I'm gonna preface this entire interview by saying this. We've obviously interviewed a lot of agents. Everybody has their own take and their own outlook, you know, and their own thing. And because one, somebody says this and somebody says another, it doesn't mean that one's right and one's wrong. It just means that they both have experienced different things and they have a different outlook on everything. So if you put different inputs in, you're an agent's going to spit something different out. Completely. Mm -hmm. But I want to know this, and this is more for you. So um, if somebody, if you're going to uh, consider signing somebody, uh-huh. a new talent. Would you rather them have an interactive demo and not a commercial demo? A commercial demo first or both demos? Okay, great. A commercial demo. No first. question about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I will listen to a commercial demo first and no question about it because you hear what their natural voice sounds like. Yeah. yeah. Um, no demo should ever start out, in my opinion, with without it. your natural voice. And mm-hmm. Now, an animation demo, okay, maybe, maybe. But, you know, yeah. my problem with animation demos is where are the leads? Why does everybody have to be a wacky character voice? Why do they have to be the 
wacky best friend. Right. Why can't they just talk like the lead, right. you know, mm -hmm. and do a few lines as the likable um, lead who's friends with everybody or just really likable lead. Do yeah. the likable lead. Voice. The likable lead. Don't yeah. do the old Dana Jewish mother and the white <laughs> uh, The cowboy or girl, you know. Witch. That's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. So, so but if somebody... I will say the most used demos without question are promo demos. Really? No question. For that it. specific genre? They still genre. want promo. Places still want to hear promo demos. Wow. They still want to know. hear demos. Yeah. We still send demos for promos. Yeah. And, all you know, commercial... Demos are to get agents yep. for the most part. Yep. And the other reason is for what I do anyway, is for at the highest level when they're deciding between A and B, mm -hmm. you know, that we hopefully win that fight, so to speak. Fantastic. Um, but we still send promo demos out. Good. So a good so I think the most important thing to have a good is to have a good promo demo. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you have an agent. Yeah. Um, if you don't have an agent, get a good commercial demo. Yeah. Beautiful. That's okay. good to know. And on that. Sorry, am I That's hogging okay. him? That's fine. Um, I'll get and, it back. And on that topic him. of utilizing demos to be able to send out to producers and buyers or whatever um, that you do, does it require now compared to like maybe 10 years ago? Is it a different relationship that you have with these producers? Like sure. do you still Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, you still have your good relationships, but it yeah. is um with voice bank with the internet with all of that you just lose contact yeah and and when voice bank went down all of us agents were quickly like oh wow we all lost contact didn't we mm -hmm. we were all like oh we, <laughs> yeah. got, we got some Losing phone calls to make <laughs> yeah. you know but we were yeah. emailing each other and we you know these agencies and but you do you lose some personal contact and i think a lot of us once that happens you know got on the phones and started trying to reestablish relationships mm -hmm. and you know, we found out that a lot of those people don't exist anymore. Yeah. And a lot of the companies where we used to have a lot of producers and friends, we don't know them anymore. Exactly. And they just slipped through and we didn't even notice that they yeah. were leaving. And yeah. so trying to reestablish those relationships, um, um, you know, is important for all the agents. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, good. Um, so it yeah. still is important to yeah. establish no relationships with some of these people so that when you do send something or yeah. that you reach out to them that they go, oh, that's Dean from, right? Yep. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. Um, when they send an audition, we get stuff back quickly, yeah. high quality. You know, people aren't allowed to record from phones at my agency. Nobody records on snowball mics at my agency. You have to have good equipment or you come in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So all of the volumes are the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me, let's yeah. talk about that for a second. Yeah. Why, why no snowball mic? <laughs> why no <laughs> USB type, you know, crappy microphones or iPhone Because auditions. it matters. It matters. I mean, imagine being a and, I, and I'm asking this imagine because there are people model. out there that are doing just <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I do. Yeah. I love it. Keep buying the snowball Models mics. use Polaroids. <laughs> when they got the job. When they already right. have the job. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen people lose jobs because they didn't sound as good? Well, not as so much as losing jobs. All that you have to do is try to listen to 100 reads and pick one. Mm -hmm. Right. Try. Yeah. Give it a try. Listen to 100 reads and try to pick the one that's going to go on the commercial for your client. And you'll quickly come to the well, conclusion yeah, so the that, easy, you know, quality yeah. matters. And the just get matters. rid of the bad quality. That's one Miller, way to narrow it. If this is Miller or if it's yeah. McDonald's and they care, yeah, it matters. Yeah. But if it's, you know, whatever local thing, maybe they don't care. Yeah. You know, I'm here for the people that care. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you have to have good quality at my agency. Nobody gets to record from their phone or from cool. a, I mean, listen, if you're a request, of course, yeah. if you're on the road and all that you have is your travel mic. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not crazy. We're still yeah. sometimes better, better something than nothing at, at the highest level, especially if you're a request, but you know, um, I, I can't believe some of the quality that I hear people send in and they think it's okay. At, mm -hmm. at, again, it's at the level that we're talking about. I, I want, the big jobs with residuals. Yeah. I want my clients on the red carpet. Yeah. I want their name on the marquee. Um, so what it takes is perfection everywhere. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, don't the anything standards. that you can control, control it. Because there's so much. I'm glad you yes. said that, man, because yes. I told somebody the other day. Yeah, you're just eliminating the quality yourself yeah. of your home studio is one of the only things that you're actually in control of and that they, will help you get the job. Why would they even fight on it? I, I can't. And listen, I'm not trying to 
have voice. It's like the 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 person who doesn't learn to ski but buys all the equipment. Yeah. That's not what we're talking about. Right. If you're a voice actor, this is your career. You know, you'll spend four hundred dollars on a class, but not five hundred dollars on a mic. Yeah, mm. crazy. We're six hundred dollars on a mic. Yeah. I mean, I'd prefer yeah. nine, a thousand, but yeah, um, you know, and different mics for different stuff. You know, you're not going to use a four sixteen for animation or video games. Right. Um, I mean, we do. I yeah. mean, I do and still. And you can. I mean, you can. Yeah. for an audition, yeah. and you not, can, nobody's going to know that that it's You can not really a, become a master yeah. at it, too, exactly. if you know how to play with the mic. But, you know, totally. why do you, why should you need to? Yeah. Go ahead and get a mic that <laughs> might pick everything up, you know? <laughs> yes. You won't blow yes. up half the lines and the other half totally. quiet, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, Dean, we have some more questions, and you have answers. Um, yes. Spec-wise, uh, commercials, in commercials, yeah. What are like the trending specs right now that are being requested? Yeah, for sure. I mean, no question. Women of color, men of color, any color, um, um, uh, Asian, Hispanic. Um, so they want these little dialogues. American, American, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Diversity. The swagger. That is the term I'm yeah. looking for. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's terrific. I think it's great. Yeah. Um, I think it's probably long overdue. And um, I think there are a lot of, amazing voice actors that are going to get an opportunity that haven't had an opportunity, um, you know, because of what, uh, because of the time we're in right now, it is yeah, a, a unique and special time and the advertisers have to be mm -hmm. aware of it yeah. and they don't want to overreact at the same time and have people think, Oh, they're whatever the other direction is. <laughs> I don't even want to think what that would be, but um, <laughs> the wrong direction. I don't know. Um, so um, without question that, um, and I feel like, like right this minute, we're kind of going back to a comfortable announcer a little bit, to kind of a deeper, warmer male again, right. believe it or not. Uh, there was very much a female thing going on here for the last two years. Absolutely. And I feel so good about it because Me I too, man. just happened to pick up a bunch of amazing girls over the past five years. About three years ago, I started collecting amazing actresses, yeah. actors, um, female actors. and. Um, I just couldn't stop saying yes because they were one after the other was just good. And yeah. I, yeah. I overloaded on young female actress, actors. And I was like, this is exactly what I didn't want to do. And all of a sudden, um, because I, let me just qualify what I said, because young females have never really been big money makers in voice for young totally. females. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then all of a sudden young females became one of the biggest commercial money makers yeah. over the last two years. Yeah. And I happened to have a bunch on my roster and I was thrilled. And that has continued, yeah. but it's definitely trailing off towards yeah. um, color, women of color, um, again, diversity. Um, uh, and like I said, I feel like old, older male warmth is coming back, like America mm -hmm. needs a hug or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, America needs yeah. a hug. I know. love that. <laughs> so, That's a campaign for that, you right there. there. On the t-shirt. America needs a hug. <laughs> so, Dean, do you, for you, for Dean Panero Talent, what are some do's and don'ts uh, for talent seeking possible representation? Okay, great. Okay, um, be good. Let's start there. I mean, you've yeah. got to really take a hard look at it. Everyone can literally do this. Read other people's written words off a page. Yeah. Since everyone can literally do it, the people that get paid to do it are really special. And so maybe you're not that special. And, and But well, listen, maybe you are. Or maybe you could be really that special. Um, but you better bring it one way or another. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Because... Um, my people are really good. So be good, first of all, is okay. the first thing I want to yeah. say. Okay, be good. Be so if you're Number good, two. now assuming that you're good, mm -hmm. um, you're probably going to have to send me your demo a couple few times. I probably won't catch it the first time. Maybe I will, but you know, I so, mean. So hold on. I want to go back great. to that because somebody sends you an email, da, 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 juga, juga, do, and you probably would give it attention, but why would you, why would you miss it? What are some of the reasons that you would busy. miss that? A little busy. CBS sent yeah. a promo. See, it's doing an hour. Mm -hmm. These people are busy. Yeah, CBS and a promo is doing an is hour. Your priority is who's on your sure. roster. So is it cool yeah. for them to maybe follow up a week Absol later and say, hey, Absolutely. Dean. Absolutely. No okay. question about it. And it, first of all, be good. If you're good, I need you. Right. Realize if you are good, and that's, that's what gets my attention, are the people that don't quit and they do it with just kind of a calm confidence. Like when you get around to it, here it is. Right. And it's happened where I've, I've been like, this guy 
sends the coolest emails and I'm going to listen to his thing. And I listened, it wasn't that great, but he was, he was, <laughs> he made me listen after a yeah. while. Yeah. You know, he was, his calm confidence got me to eventually come around to it. Yeah. Um, and he wasn't, you know, it just was very straightforward and honest. Um, and it, it's I, not even, I don't even remember, it just was an area that I was full in more than anything else. Yeah. And that's a huge part of this. Yeah. Completely. You might not be bad or you might be an apple and we're looking for an orange. And I mean, me as an agent, filling gaps in my roster is a huge part of what I do. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, you know, maybe that's a, not the most proactive way to look at it, but you know, if I need more in a category because we have to put people in categories, yeah. even mm-hmm. though it's voiceover, mm-hmm. we still have to categorize you um, um, because Mm, that's what uh, the categories yeah. advertisers yeah. and we're if you have yeah, 20 they, people in that category it's not doing you any favors yeah, just and, to yeah. park you there and then you're not getting opportunities if your name doesn't come out of my mouth in the first eight names in a category I might not be the best place for you yeah. mm-hmm. but if I'm saying your name in the first eight maybe ten you have a pretty good idea you've got a pretty good shot that you're working yeah, yeah. exactly most likely if you're how many me. categories are there God, dozens, I guess. No, I mean, I'm you know, you're gonna go. You're gonna go. The 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 first category are gonna be the you know the eight to ten year old kids. Okay. You know that that lovable kids before we get to hate them. Right. We get thirteen and they get phones and don't listen Sully. to us. <laughs> right. That's <laughs> the, the first category. category. And then you know that the late teens, at, you know, high school quarterbacker or. or um, cheerleader that gets right. along with the stoners and the musicians <laughs> and the <laughs> actors. And, right. Um, and then there's the twenties guys and girls. Right. 30s, you know, starting to become parents. And then the 30s is is its own category. It's more like, you know, these days, it's more like late 20s to late 30s. I see. Because youthful is in right now. Exactly. Youthful is definitely in. Yeah. Yeah. That's why girls are working so much more. So all of this is starting to skew younger than it was. Yeah. Like like I said, I, I never went after younger early 20s girls. Now I actively go after early 20s girls. Luckily, I've yeah. had a lot of success with that. Yeah. Um, but um, it's, it's, everything is going more youthful at the mm-hmm. moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, so let's say late 20s, late 30s, and then you basically got 40s to 50s, and then the ageless quality, and then like the 60s, 70s. So, yeah. Uh, but the ageless quality can go anywhere anywhere you yeah. know because yeah. it doesn't it's matter they just linda yeah. hunt that um right. exactly you know you, you can name a lot of them obviously um, i don't think we've ever asked anybody how many co- uh, uh categories, categories yeah. there were yeah. at an agency yeah. but yeah. there's good. lots yeah it's good, um, dean. It's good <laughs> stuff dean <laughs> absolutely it's Thank like you, you know dean. what you're doing Thanks over for clearing there that up, dean. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey dean has anybody ever told you that you look like a young sting uh Yes, I, I remember that. I'll take right, it. That's right. a good, All I see is Roxanne. I'll take it. I see you on the stage there. No. Fine. You see him in, uh, what was that? Return of Thunderdome? Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. He was badass. That. He that was, was good. That's badass, your next man. Halloween costume. Yeah. I like it. There you I'll go. go. Whole, You're yeah, winning the costume the, party, man. He's got that cool <laughs> spin thing going on. He totally All does. right, girls. It's stop. the swagger. Leave Dean alone. So let's let's go back, Dean. And... And go back to the, when did you realize you wanted to be an agent? Did you ever think about being an agent? Um, How did you get here? Well, um, so I met Jeff Danis at a party back in the late 90s, 1997. It was called Divine Design, Mm -hmm. Pacific Design Center. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had just lost an assistant, and I met him. Somebody introduced me and said, oh, this guy, he's a big muckety-muck at ICM. And I met him, and we had lunch uh, after that, and... Shortly after that, I became his assistant. And I honestly did not know really what voiceover was. It was not in the American conscience like right. it is now. Voiceover right. was not a word that people even said, yeah. believe it or not, even though the Simpsons were on. and yeah. But it just wasn't something yeah. we thought about. No. Yeah. Um, and so he explained it to me, and I started working in it. And I somehow just quickly fell in love with it. I, uh, it's hard to explain. I... I don't know when or where it happened, but somewhere along the way, I fell in love with voice actors. Mm-hmm. I mean, I will say without question, you have to realize at this time, I'm at ICM um, with Jeff Danis, and yeah. we have Billy West and Maurice oh, LaMarche yeah, and Jim yeah. Cummings and yeah. Jess Harnell. And yeah. the list goes on and on yeah. of incredible mm-hmm. animation actors that are just, yeah. you know, the kings of the town. And not only that, right. you guys were booking 
gigantic yeah. union gigs, yeah. like nationals, it was, it was, left and right. It, it was it a was, nice place to cut it, your teeth. It was. It yeah. was really great. So, um, so you know, working with all of those incredible actors, I think it really um, gave me this kind of respect for what they do. Yeah. And I kind of fall in love with voice actors. I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know where or when it happened, but I, I'll fall in love with my voice actors. Maybe it's their overall sense of humor, or maybe it's the way they read certain things, mm-hmm. or maybe it's just their um, you know, amazing ability to do accents. But I really do fall in love with my actors, and I think they feel that. Yeah. It's my hobby and my job. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I think maybe some people think that's not that healthy. I think it's the only way to live. Yeah. Um, but uh, so they know that. They, they know that I'm in it with them. They know that the only other person that wants to book it as much as them is me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and they know I'll give them every tool possible to book it. Yeah. So um, I guess I got off topic a little bit. But no, I was going to say, like, what makes you, what do you think makes you such an effective agent? And I think your passion and your yeah, intensity I, is really, you the, can't the not feel that The talent level from, you know. of my clients is incredible. Yes. They are so good. Yes. I mean, it is, I mean, I have Yuri Lowenthal and, you know, Roger Craig Smith. And mm-hmm. I mean, uh, that's two of an unbelievable list that I yeah. could go on and on. Yeah. I could literally start listing them out. And um, what they're talented at, they're, at their skill set. They're masters. I mean, yeah. they're absolute masters at what they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do it for several reasons. Number one, I feel like I can still pick great voice actors. Yeah. You give me somebody and they're better, I can say you're better and you're going to work mm-hmm. and they will work. Yeah. Um, I love that. Yeah. I love that that talent rules all in this business. Yeah. You don't need to know somebody. You don't need to be the prettiest. You just need to be the most talented. You need to be the yeah. best voice actor and you will win. Yeah. Um, so that keeps me coming back. And, and the fact that I get to be a part of the creative process um, by doing the auditions, by being <clears throat> essentially a casting Watch director. Watch your mic. I saw, yeah. I felt it. I yeah. felt that. When, oh. I mean, obviously, besides being talented, what expectations do you have of the talent on your roster? Bring great auditions every day. Mm-hmm. You have to consistently audition well. Even when you're not feeling well, you got to bring it. You know, yeah. You don't know when that audition is going to come through that's the right one for yeah. you. Yeah. So it takes a bunch of great auditions in a row to book. Yeah. Do you personally listen to some of these oh, auditions? Oh, sure. You Absolutely. Uh, any any big TV stuff, yeah. any promo stuff, without let me, question. Can I, let me ask you a question about that. Um, if an audition comes in, um, whether the talent is Roger Craig Smith or even somebody new maybe, and you hear the audition, you're like, mm, they kind of missed a mark here a little bit. Do you actually reach out to them and say, why don't you send me another one like this? Yes? Good. Yes, I do. And Roger Craig, Craig Smith can <laughs> verify that. <laughs> He'll verify that. Yeah. It's not always to the best effect. Like, yeah. Sometimes yeah. you miss the mark when you're yeah. trying I mean, to coach up your A-list exactly. actors. Exactly. Yeah. But know? you I'm, might have a little extra information for about sure, the project. For sure. For yeah. sure. No, I'm just laughing because I had one of these with Roger not too long ago. <laughs> okay, I, that's funny. I might have directed he's watching him, this right now, though. Right I might have directed like, him right. a little bit sassy, and maybe that wasn't what he needed <laughs> at that moment. Maybe he needed... Yeah. Um, a little more information, a little less sass. And, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, you better believe it. I will coach up Roger. I'll coach up Yuri. I'll coach up anybody. That's fantastic. Yeah. And then on the same token. Because it's it's information. I, it, that's what it is. I have more information. Yeah. yeah. It's not that I know better no. than any of these great actors. It's that I'm armed with information. Right. Yeah. Now, same right. token. Let's reverse that. Um, somebody sends a read in. They tell him how to be an agent? No. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. No, no, no. I, I know. I know no. how to handle that. Somebody, somebody sends you sends an audition in. It sounds horrible. It, I mean, there's noises in the background. The TV's going. The you know, Dogs they're cooking eggs. Do you just say something, depends. or do you just like not even send it in and it say, depends. you know what, you're not going in on it this? It depends. One. It depends if I have time. You know, you've got to weigh your yeah. pros and cons and pick your battles. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you better believe I'll let them know that. This is not acceptable. This is not acceptable what we do here. Good for I you. work I'm too glad. hard to send yeah. out this stuff. But um, I'll tell you, I think what's really interesting you find when you're in charge of many people is the best thing to do a lot of the time is nothing. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's really hard to do nothing sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it's the best thing to do a lot of times. People don't like nothing. Yeah. People want change. People want this. People want that. Sometimes you just made a mistake. Sometimes you're working on it. Sometimes... 
change is not what it needs. You just need to do it again, so to speak. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a life lesson. That concludes part one with our good friend, Dean Panero. We're going to be back next week with part two. So check it out. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow all of us on social. And just remember, you, you always, always have time, time for a little buzz. buzz. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little